Every life is important, and for this reason, the New South Wales Government has set a clear target to reduce road fatalities by 30% by 2021, and an ultimate goal of zero deaths and serious injuries on the state's roads. We were on track saving more lives each year up to 2014, which had a record low road toll. However, 2015 and 16 saw a tragic increase in lives lost. Safety on the state's roads is one of the New South Wales Government's highest priorities. So as Minister for Roads, Maritime and Freight, I'm determined to get us back on track. We are already making changes that are saving lives, but more work is needed. We need a practical, clear plan to guide how we will make New South Wales roads safer. Road safety is a shared responsibility, so I'm seeking your ideas and input on our future road safety initiatives. Initiatives to ensure safer roads, safer speeds, safer vehicles and safer people. So that the road transport system not only keeps us moving, but also keeps us safe. Every day, the New South Wales Police see the devastating effect that crashes have on people's lives. I believe if we work together, there is no reason we can't make New South Wales roads the safest in the world, with the ultimate goal of zero deaths and serious injuries. We must tackle some immediate emerging issues, including the high number of country road deaths. Two thirds of our road toll occur in rural areas in New South Wales. The increasing pedestrian deaths in our cities, and the high numbers of serious injury crashes in urban areas along with their lifelong impacts. Whichever way you travel, the simple act of going to work, school or the shops shouldn't mean you or your family risk death or serious injury. That is why the New South Wales Government is reviewing the current road safety actions to make sure we all focus on what works and work together to save lives and prevent injuries. What's important when we think about road safety is that all elements of the system work together. That's our roads, that's the vehicles, that's the people that travel on the roads and that's the speed at which they travel. All of those elements need to work together to make a safe system. What we know is that people make mistakes and our systems have to compensate for that. Our roads are getting safer. For many years we've had barriers and wire rope and things that actually stop people from dying on our road system and survive through a crash situation. The vehicle manufacturers have worked very hard on making vehicles safer. We've got ABS, we've got airbags, vehicles are much safer. Speed is incredibly important. Human bodies are frail, they can only put up with so much. The speed at which you're travelling can make the difference as to whether you go home or you don't go home. So what's really important as you look at the plans that you're reviewing and that you're commenting on as you think about this safe systems approach. The roads, the vehicles, the people and the speed working together. That's the approach you should have in your mind. The transport network gives each of us access to the services we need, our work, schools and more. We each use the network in different ways and for different purposes. Some enjoy a leisurely ride with friends on the weekend, some of us drive to the local shops and some of us like to walk to the park. For some, they drive every day for a living, transporting goods, spending many hours behind the wheel to make sure that when you go to the local shops, the shelves are stacked. Others drive through the night to get that equipment on the job site for the next day's work. Whichever way you use it, it is a fundamental part of our lives that we may take for granted, unless something goes wrong. Being safe on the roads is important, whether travelling around your local area or when travelling further afield. We all share the roads, and road safety is a shared responsibility. By working together, we can save more lives and reduce the serious injuries that affect over 12,000 people who are hospitalised each year in this state. That is why we are ensuring as many people, stakeholders and partners, have an opportunity to have their say. In New South Wales, we've been very successful over many years at reducing road deaths and serious injuries. We've been leaders in using the evidence of why crashes happen to improve our laws, build safer roads, safer cars and educate our community. We want our new road safety plan to continue to move us towards zero because we know every death and serious injury is preventable if we have a safe system. Based on the latest evidence on what is causing the trauma on our roads, We've assessed Australian and international information on what works. 
Now we want you to look at the evidence and the options and give us your view of what you think should be the priorities in a new road safety plan for New South Wales. Your feedback will be used to help decide what we will focus on in New South Wales between now and 2021 to save lives and reduce serious injuries on our roads. We'll also use your ideas to prepare for a longer term future transport where there are no deaths on our roads. We need to make sure we focus on what will save lives and have a clear way of delivering them because people's lives depend on it.